Welcome to more of the best games in the Ludum Dari 42 game jam, all on the theme of running out of space. There's already a big playlist for these games, so check that out at your leisure. But for now, we're playing Noor. This is a little action game um, where you have to basically survive and escape the island. At your disposal, you have two lights, only two. Uh, and the light that they create keeps on shrinking, and if you touch the darkness, you die. You lose one of your hearts. It's most inconvenient. And you just have to work out how to get off the island. Uh, there's a little NPC here having a bit of a plot, but in the interest of speed, speed, we will actually, um, I will, I'll summarise it. We either have to go north to um, meet a, an ugly head, or go east to theoretically get out of the island. But we will actually need to go north. So you can recall your lights by kind of like double clicking. It's quite tricky there. This this game is incredibly hard, uh, but it's it's very compulsive. And even if you die and go back to the start, you do want to get back to the well, you get back into it. Now this is the really um, tough bit to start with, the first tough bit you come across, because you have to sort of like lure some shadow creatures, and we'll, I'll just get through him. It's basically what I'm saying, I'm going to defeat these eggs to, to get a shadow gun. Uh, so those eggs are really quite tough. So let's make a little path into the darkness, activate the thing, and then run. Run for it. Oh no, he's... Oh, there we go. It's all safe. Oh! Careful. See what I mean? That's really, really quite difficult. But there's other stuff as well, like I could um, try to make towards that light, but and there's other places as well, but we really do have to get going with this, I think. Let's try... again. Egg! Oh dear, this is not good. Right, go. Die. Die, you prick. Oh god, there's eggs for days up there. Oh no. Right, hang on. Thankfully, these are perm- Oh, dicks! Those are permanent, which is- OW! God damn it. It's so hard this game. Uh, anyway, let's try let's try and set up a new path over to the right. Egg. Come on, we need the shadow gun. Oh careful! Oh I no, uh, I recalled the wrong light and it was all just terrible scenes. Uh, um you get an idea of this. Uh, I'm, this is another one of those games where I want to keep on playing it um off camera because there's a lot to explore in this game. Gold Eater so this is a little action game with really cute pixel art where you have to collect a certain amount of gold on the screen and then escape on your zeppelin. At the moment there is, well there's five bits of gold remaining on the screen and I have to collect four thereof. So oh dear. I haven't died yet though, but there I am, I'm back back back. So of course the land is inevitably crumbling beneath your feet, this is a running out of space game, and things get a little frantic. So this guy is a prick, because I have to creep up on him behind to get the gold. There we go. If I actually touch him on the front, he will kill me. Now, as I say, you don't actually have to collect all the gold on the screen. Uh, so long as the number, like 15 in this case, stays equal to or higher than the amount you need to collect, you're fine. But things will disappear. Things will crumble. Uh, and occasionally you might get into unfair situations where you simply can't do much all about it, but and never mind. Uh, yeah, because of the fact that things do disintegrate at random. And some things disintegrate quite easily, like this down there. And also, that lad down there, who just disappeared off the bottom there, I'll never be able to collect that. Right, run for it, run for it. There we go. So yeah, there are a lot of different sort of tile types for you to get stuck into. Uh, the ones I'm standing on at the moment seem to be fairly secure, but other ones really quite prickish. So what's that? I've got six- Oh no! Yeah, I died. Uh, because I didn't do the timing correctly, because there was a- Yeah, there was a thing that went down and up again, uh, and unfortunately I was standing on a particularly fragile bit of land. Wait for it. Wait for it to come back. Oh look, that's some- gone. Right, so wait for it here. Wait for it to come back. Go, 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 go. Right, there we go. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite time that right, but that's fine. I'm going to be back. Right, don't go that way. Right, let's get this. Oh, actually, let's not get that bit of gold, otherwise I'll get trapped. Oh, that's gold. That gold's gone as well. Oh, there's only seven bits of gold left on the screen, but I only need four. Right, so there's here's some secret path, which takes me to... Well, where's it taking me? Oh, there he is. Oh, I could have actually gone there by the looks of it. Anyway, because of the secret path. <laughs> well, I need two more bits of gold, and there's still five left on the screen, so... I don't really want to go over there. I want to go to the right, I think. I think this is safer. No, I'm over here now. Bloody hell. Right, I've got to be very careful here. Because everything's very disintegrated. Quick! Grab, 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 grab! I've got nine! I can escape! Phew! So there's quite a few options you have on this, a few bonus bits of gold. So it's, it's just all rather cleverly done. Just, it's actually quite hard as well. Uh, but yeah, it looks great too. This is Overloaded. 
And this is where you're a bus driver and you have to get people onto your bus and then deliver them where they need to go. The stop that they want to go to is indicated above their head. And if you want to push people in, you have to just like click their number and it'll just like shove them up. Move farther down the bus, please. Right, get on. Oh, come on, lads. Get on. And you've got to make sure that you don't get too many complaints. Um, so let's close that and let's move on to the next station. This will be bus stop number one. So we want all the ones to be able to get off. So let's actually shove people up a bit. Make room for the ones. There we go. In fact, I'll push the ones up if I can. Oh, so that's pretty much it. So oh, open the, that door. Close! And now let them get on. They do like to try and avoid the fare because they're pricks. Right, let's try and get the twos to the left as much as we can. Because then they'll be needing to get off next. So two, two, two. They have a bit of a mind of their own, these little pricks. Inevitably. Oh god, there are so many people getting on. Hang on. Let's try and move some of these other lads out of the way so the twos can get off soon. Right. Close! Oh dear, sorry mate. Get on! I think we have to push these lads up. There we go, now we can go on to the next station. Right, twos. Twos get forward. Right, push. Give them a shove. Give them a kick. Twos. 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 Okay, twos. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Stop getting on, your freebie loading prick bricks. Oh, stop it. Right, hang on. Go, 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 go. There, right. Now we can get the uh, all the lads on. Let's move those up. So we need the threes off next, so let's get those lads on. Uh, to the left. Move. Move, you inconsiderate little turds. Come on, this is the 176 to Penge. We don't um, have any madness on here. Right, I think we still actually need some more space, bloody hell. Right, come on, cram in. Get all the sixes to the left, maybe. Try and really get some space going on. Right, still trying to get on. What's he doing? He's, in, he's not even got a number. I don't care about him. I'm going to take him to hell and back. <laughs> Just get on. Hang on, let's... Shove them in. Get the sixes in. Six, 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 six. 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 I think someone's trying to get off. I think someone's having a bit of a pissy. It's okay. Next station. Right. Oh, God. This is going to be... Three. It's going to be chaos at three stop. Because I don't... Oh, everyone's all over the shop now. Right. Come on. Let's push the threes up. Let's use our time wisely. Oh, everyone's trying to get off now. Oh, no. This is going to be chaos, isn't it? Let's try opening that. Oh. They really are trying to skip the fair. Right. Sod off. Unfortunately, the exit lads are trying to get it that way as well. Right, come on. Come on, exit lads. Get off. Number five is really pissing in the way. Right, come on. Get off the bus. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, everyone's getting on for free. Oh, no. Finally. These, all, these lads all look, all look like Minecraft lads. Oh, dear. This is just... No, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I don't care. Eleven complaints there. I left people behind massively there. Right, let's get the four lads. What What even are those lads that don't have a number? Oh, who cares? Get off! No, actually, don't do that just yet. Right, just get off and stay off my delicious, lovely bus. Um, oh dear. <laughs> oh, all the, all the people who haven't paid have... Oh, okay, so the, if they haven't got a number, they haven't paid, have they? That's right. Oh, they, they need to get off. What's he doing? What is, he, is he nude? No, he's not. He's got... He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a bra woman. Uh, everyone's been... Maybe everyone's been to the beach. Um, oh dear, this is not going well. I've got 19 complaints. Oh, just get on! Actually, they can't, can they? Oh, where are they, where are they going? You can't get in that way! What is going on? This is Cybertron. This is a natty little puzzle game uh, with some rather cool neon style graphics. And the whole point of this is to get the two buildings together without making them plummet into the void because they all need to be supported. If I try and push the building over to there, it'll fall into the void. So, let's restart this puzzle. Uh, so th in this case, we have to move the mountain. Ah, oh, we can't do that either. So let's push this one over here. Then we can push this over here, and it will be supported by the mountain. Um, supporting means it's got to have like a t two tiles, one on either side, an anchor tile or a mountain tile. So let's see, break the middle soil. So if we get rid of the um, the crappy soil stuff, and then push this over here, it'll continue to be anchored on either side. So we'll push these up here. And you can only move things that have the blue glow. So in, the, in, in this case, there's actually not much we can do. It is fairly tutorial-y, this early level. Uh, level five. So now we've got to like push them together. We can push either building. Um, so let's see. If we do that, and then push that into there. Get rid of that. Push that into there. Get rid of that. Oh dear. We've destroyed the support. So let's try this again. Get rid of that, and push that in. Get rid of that. Push that in. And then, I think we should be okay to do that. There we go. 
Now we're starting to get into the, the trickier levels. Also, the music's changed. So let's see what we can do about this. Um, there's a lot we can get rid of. There's not much we can push at the moment. So we'll, let's try to use the mountains as our support system. So let's push that over to there, maybe. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now, can I push this into the middle? Yes, I can. Right, so hopefully, if we get rid of that... Yeah, here we go. Support Everything's still supported. If I push that in, will that be supported, though? Yes, it will. That's fine. Yes, it's adjacent. Yep, okay, that's fine. Right, the right things. So there's now more than um, one of each of the buildings. Uh, that's already attached to the food thing, and so is that. Uh, but we do need to move one of them towards that, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's not do that. <laughs> ah! Well, I need to move the towers to, to this, so let's try that. And we're done. Right, so this is going to make... Okay, so if you want a hint, by the way, you can click that. Um, buildings can boost, and be boosted by more than one building. Yeah, whatever, mate. Mate... Right, so let's try to get... Well, I suppose that one needs to go to there. But how do we do that? Without things getting too rogue. Are we done? Oh, yes, that's actually very straightforward. Or do... Is, oh, oh, hang on. We haven't actually finished this yet. So it looks like um, we need actually three um, sources of food. So I'm guessing that we need to put... Uh, if we put that one there... And now bring this lad over to here, and it'll be like supporting two buildings. So let's try that. I'm not sure. I think this will work without support. Yes, there we go. I'm actually supplying four, which is um actually better than what he wanted. And, uh-oh. What do we do here? I'm not even sure what this is. Factories need to touch other factories to produce. Okay. So let's get that moving. I think this is probably, hopefully, straightforward bring the mountain with us. I think if I bring this one over here, that'd be better. And we're sorted. So it does keep on changing things up constantly, um, but um, it's still going to get quite tough very quickly. <laughs> it's already, this one's called Complication, so I think we might stop here before I expose myself too much. So this is Dice Builder. This is a evil and cunning little puzzle game. Um, it is it is a right prick. Once you've actually got the rules, um, you realise just how um, subtly, bastardly it actually is. So this is the one where you place things down and you, you have to try and remove as much as you can from the board as you go before you run out of space. To get rid of things, you have to get adjacent, similar things um, together. But um, that's where things start to get a bit tricky because if you want to like get rid of all the adjacent fives... Uh, actually, actually, let's give a better example. You can flip and turn and all that sort of stuff. Um, if you want to get rid of like the adjacent fours, you have to get four fours adjacent in any direction. Um, but if you want to get rid of something like eights, you have to get rid of like eight eights. Oh, there, I got rid of three threes by putting them down. You can also stack the numbers and they'll go higher. So let's see, we can actually get... Hang on, let's rotate and put these... Okay, that's going to get rid of four fours, that's fine. That's all good. Um, but and the, the other wrinkles in this is ones and twos don't work. You can't like get rid of those at all, so you have to like stack them to make them different numbers. And if um, dice get higher than 12, then they become boulders that can't be moved. Also, <laughs> one more thing is um, you have a limited amount of time to place things before they get put down automatically. So let's try and concentrate on like, fours and things. So we're going to get rid of four fours adjacent. Uh, for some reason, every time you place something down and get rid of something, it changes colour as well, which is most alarming. Let's just randomly put that there, because they're quite low scores. Right, so we've got fives and sixes. Well, we've got some fours here. Um, let's place that kind of here-ish. We've got some sixes on the go now. Sixes are going to be quite tough. Let's put that there, because then we've got three sixes. Let's put the two on top of the four to make another six. And let's get rid of that up there, because that's the very small numbers. Well, there's actually a six right there, so let's put that there. We've almost got all the sixes. Let's see if we can actually put one... Oh, we can put two... We can get two sixes here. Oh, actually, it wasn't only one six. I didn't stack them. Oh, God, that one's... The the red one is... What, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's got a ten. That's going to be... I've got to watch out for that, otherwise it'll um, screw us somewhat. Let's put that there. So what have we got in the go at the moment? We've got quite a few fives that we could pos potentially do something with. There's some fives. Let's yep, make more of that. Ah! 
there we go. Oh, that's that's not four, five fives. That's four fives. Hang on. We can get we can do something here. Let's rotate that. Put that there. And the shapes are random as well. And let's um, just rotate that. And th now we can get some fives on the go. There we go. Uh, occasionally, you just get one single block on its own, which is most convenient. Uh, but yeah, I find that th concentrating on things like fours and fives and sixes seems to be the way forward. But the the longer you go in this, obviously, like the the higher the numbers are going to get. So you do start to run out of space and get things get a lot trickier. It's getting to the stage where there's so much on the screen now. Um, it's hard to know where to start. Um, I might want to get rid of some of these eights because there's a lot of eights around. It's just actually hard to see um, what's actually at my cursor now because there's so much stuff on it. Um, maybe I should try and be a bit less. I could try and get some of these fives. Oh no, that's not. That's making things worse. But we actually have got. Actually, we have got a lot of eights though. Accidentally. What have I actually gotten them, I think? You can see in the top right. Let's try and get some eights on the go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just need one more eight. So if I've got three here, which I think I have, I might be able to... Oh, I can't. I can't really slot it in very well. Unless I do it on... Okay, let's do it so it goes across here. Oh, no, that's gonna... No. Why have you... Ah. Oh, let's <laughs> oh, just put it down well. Oh, bloody hell. So you can see it gets more and more confusing as the game goes on. Um, it's... Oh, no, I've made a boulder! My first boulder! That's, that square's now out of action. Um, but you can see how this goes. It's deceptively clever. It's soothing at first, but then starts to get more and more frantic and more and more confusing until eventually you just like them go... Bah! Okay, that's it for this video. Check out the playlist for more coverage. If you want to play the games, join my Discord, or support me on Patreon, all the links are in the description.